Welcome to Raw Online. Today's topic of discussion is nerves and vessels of orbit. The competency of the topic is describe the nerves and vessels in the orbit, describe anatomical basis of Horner syndrome, and explain the anatomical basis of oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens nerve palsies along with strabismus. The nerves of the orbit are optic nerve, oculomotor nerve, trochlear nerve, abducens nerve, and ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve. as well as there is a ganglion that is ciliary ganglion optic nerve is the second cranial nerve oculomotor is third cranial nerve trochlear is fourth nerve and abducens is sixth cranial nerve and the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve so orbit has the second third fourth and fifth sixth cranial nerves as well as ciliary ganglion ciliary ganglion is the ganglion which is present within the orbit So before moving into the topic proper, let let's see the uh, openings present in the bony orbit. So this is the bony orbit. We are going to see the bony orbit in the anterior aspect. So this is the anterior view of the bony orbit. So in the anterior view, we can appreciate the two fissures in the sup suprolateral aspect. This is the superior orbital fissure, and the inferior aspect or infralateral aspect there is a inferior orbital fissure, and there is a oval shape opening present. here this is the optic canal so this is the superior orbital fissure and this is the inferior orbital fissure and this is optic canal so uh, for this uh, topic uh, we have to know about the structures passing through the superior orbital fissure so this is the superior orbital fissure this is the schematic diagram to show the structures passing through the superior orbital fissure so the superior orbital fissure is divided into three compartments by this common tendinous ring so this is the common tendinous ring of zin this common tendinous ring gives attachment to this common tendinous uh, ring gives the origin of recti muscles so the attachment of the common tendinous ring is here there is a tubercle present in the superior orbital fissure as well as here it attached in the apex of the orbit so it attaches in the apex of the orbit to the superior orbital fissure through which the superior orbital fissure is divided into three compartments suprolateral compartment so this is the suprolateral compartment and this is the inframedial compartment and this is the intermediate compartment so in the suprolateral compartment from lateral to medial aspect there is a vein this is the superior ophthalmic vein then lacrimal nerve then there is a artery so this is the recurrent meningeal branch of ophthalmic artery frontal nerve and trochlear nerve so the suprolateral compartment transmits two branches of ophthalmic nerve that is lacrimal nerve and frontal nerve as well as it transmit the fourth cr cranial nerve that is trochlear nerve so the mnemonic for this compartment is lft that is the liver function test is the easy mnemonic uh, to know the uh, structures passing through the suprolateral compartment once again i repeat three nerves passes in the suprolateral compartment that is lacrimal frontal and trochlear and one vein that is the superior ophthalmic vein and the artery is the recurrent meningeal branch of ophthalmic artery in the intermediate compartment there is a uh, transmits the superior and inferior division of third nerve so the intermediate compartment mainly transmits third nerve in between the superior division and the inferior division you can appreciate one nerve that is the nasociliary nerve so the nasociliary nerve is the another branch of the ophthalmic nerve lateral to this there is a sixth nerve that is abducens nerve so this is the sixth nerve so the intermediate compartment transmits superior and inferior division of the oculomotor nerve in between there is a nasociliary nerve that is the branch from the ophthalmic nerve and laterally there is a abducens nerve and the inframedial compartment transmit inferior ophthalmic veins so that's all about the external schematic diagram that shows the structures passing through the superior orbital fissure uh, through this knowledge we are going to see the each compartment so here you can appreciate the bony canal that is the optic canal the optic canal transmits optic now optic now is the second cranial now and the in inferior to this there is a ophthalmic artery so optic canal transmits optic now and the ophthalmic artery So once again, I repeat: superior orbital fissure transmits the branches from the third, fourth, sixth cranial nerves, and the second cranial nerve passes through the optic canal. 
so let's see the optic nerve in detail so the optic nerve has some peculiarities it is not a peripheral nerve it is a prolongation of the white matter of the brain so it has all the three coverings of the brain as well as the spaces so from outer to inner the coverings or the meninges are dura mater which is present in the external aspect so external to internal aspect dura mater then arachnoid mater then pia so in between there is a spaces that is subdural space below the dura and subarachnoid space below the arachnoid and subpial space below the pia mater so all these spaces are uh, prolonged over the optic nerve also so, so this is the optic nerve this optic nerve is surrounded by the three meninges as well as the spaces present in between the meninges as well as it is devoid of neurolemma sheath as well as the endoneurium so there is no neurolemma and endoneurium so the myelination is done by the oligodendrocytes so it is not a peripheral nerve it is a prolongation of the white matter of the brain so let's see the origin so the origin is this is the optic nerve so this is the eyeball this is anterior aspect and this is the posterior aspect so from the posterior aspect of the eyeball the optic nerve is emerges from the uh, cells the present in the layers of the retina so this is the schematic diagram to shows the layers present in the retina so the retina has 10 layers so the deep layer is present by the uh, in the deep layer you can appreciate these cells so these are the ganglion cells so from the ganglion cells the nerve fibers emerges and forms the optic nerve so the optic nerve is arises from the ganglion cell layer of the retina so these are the second order neurons so the presence of the optic nerve is more or less from the nasal aspect not in the temporal aspect so it converges uh, it runs backwards and as well as downwards and backwards and forms the optic chiasma along with the opposite side optic nerve.